Hey guys, welcome back to All Unknown Law. This is a quick internal medicine. Today I'm going to talk about what are the procedures that do not that do not require that do not require prophylaxis. in a patient with infective endocarditis. So what are the procedures? And this is a really very important topic because USMLEC or USM step three step two step three they will try to, they will trick you okay by giving the different uh, surgical procedures and the patient is suffering from infective endocarditis and ask you which of the following antibiotic or uh, procedures you want to do to prevent the infection okay so you should know the following procedures what I'm gonna discuss over here and I'm gonna list out so they do not require any prophylaxis in a patient suffering from infective endocarditis okay so let's talk about this the most important thing is bronchoscopy with rigid bronchoscope bronchoscopy with rigid Okay, with rigid bronchoscope. Any procedure that involves what you call esophageal dilatation. Esophageal dilatation. Okay, remember one thing I would like to tell you. There are some procedures in which the indication for the prophylaxis is unclear. Like involvement of the intestine, surgery is involved so, uh, that involves intestine okay or what you call respiratory mucosa okay gallbladder surgery then we have cystoscopy okay then we have sclerotherapy, sclerotherapy for esophageal varices, you know, okay. Then we have prostatic surgery, prostatic surgery, incision and drainage of infected wound incision and drainage of the infected wound urethral catheterization if if uti is there uti is present okay then any uretact what you call surgeries if there's a uti Look at this, though there is an infection in these conditions, but we don't give any prophylaxis. So that's really very important. Okay? Vaginal hysterectomy. Okay? Vaginal delivery in presence of any infection. If there's any infection, you want to do vaginal delivery. No need to give any prophylaxis for the patients, okay, who are infected with infective endocarditis. Okay, guys, right. So these are the important what you call uh, um, procedures where you do not require any prophylaxis for infective endocarditis. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Try to watch this video again and again, and please thumb up the video. Take care.